Hey guys, what is going on? Before this one starts off, in the description box at the top, you're going to find a link to skins.cash. Basically, as the name suggests, you get cash for your skins super fast. You don't have to wait for your, wait for a buy or anything. So you're just going to come along here, enter your trade URL at the top, pick the skins you don't want. I don't want these stickers. Pick a payment method. Uh, most of you probably just go with PayPal. Enter your PayPal address. Super easy here. And get the cash now. They're going to send you a, a trade request. You're going to accept it on your phone because I'm sure you've all got Steam Guard enabled. And then the money's going to appear in your PayPal, as you can see here, uh, within a couple of minutes. All right, guys, so getting to this one, as you'd probably expect, it's going to be mainly about the CT side. But there's one around here on the T side, which I just want to show you. It's good fundamental CS by Fallen. And if you're an AWPer and your team's going to get mid control, this is how I'd do it. I think this is probably one of the best ways to do it. Anyone can really do it at any level of play. So here he's just holding a connector. Players often try and peek over this, varying degrees of um, aggression. Obviously no one is in this situation, but that's why they throw this uh, smoke down here is because it does create a good one way which you can play around on the stairs. It's also good for his teammates to move up, but you've seen this scenario, no one really was uh, trying to move up short or anything where they could get peeked from. So moving along now, he's just going to flash himself onto this short angle, and this is very powerful because if you can hold this angle down, anyone coming out at con, like Fur, is able to have confidence not getting it shot in the back. Also allows Tarko and Cold Zero just to cross really fast there. Um, they do get a trade on to Paz, and that Molotov, but it does... Major is locked out by that Molotov. Good utility again, a good flash for um, Taco to peak, but Major gets him full blind. Uh, but there's not really much you can do about that. But I think this is just around I want to highlight. This is very good fundamental CS, nothing crazy about it. But if you've got an AWPer, you've got some utility to use. This is a great way to get mid control. And you'll see here, he's looking under Ticket Booth, another angle, which AWPers um, from the CT side often like to peek onto to get new information in towards Connector. So in this game here, Fallen sets himself up to get the AWP relatively early. You'll see this is the second round. An important thing to note is... Um, Space Soldier's got the plant on the first round, so we know they're probably going to be on a full eco this round. So Fallen Ops, just to go for a nade here, some armor and a P250, basically to save up bank, he sees $2,000. He plays uh, smart under a close range position, and you'll see he's able to get one kill, which just helps him out with an extra $300. But I like this thinking, just buying a P250 when you know the other team's just going to go full Glock, uh, no armor. Just build up the bank, and especially when you're an AWPer like Fallen, you can get the AWPer uh, going. Interestingly though, if we fast forward this a little bit, he buys the AWP and he doesn't keep it. He gives it to Taco. And this isn't, uh, there's nothing wrong with this. Taco likes to go and solo uh, the B sites. They want him to get him up there with an AWP. He's going to use his utility. I'm not going to show that because this video is about Fallen, but he uses his utility quite well just to get an AWP angle up there. And Fallen's actually all the way down to a UMP, so very selfless play by him. And this clip here, uh, it's not really much to say. It's just a bit of a highlight, a bit of a muck up. He gets three kills here, and this isn't pretty. I'm not going to break this down for you guys. It's just a little bit of a highlight. I thought I may as well chuck in there because it's nice to see Fallen get three kills. Moving on to round 21, notice Fallen has the best spawn uh, possible to go towards middle here. And he's going to use it to jump down into underpass and go for a really aggressive peek. But the most impressive thing about this is the way SK prepared for it, and I'll talk about that in a second. So standard stuff, he wants to avoid the flash, so he's running backwards. Turns at the last minute, and he indeed does avoid the flashes over the top of it. Smokes for himself to get away. And then you'll notice here, if we come towards middle, as Fallen's falling away, we'll see a whole lot of utility used. You see he actually is blinded. You can see he's doing the flashbang dance. But what we can also see is we can see this smoke here was thrown off short uh, by Cold Zero. There's the train there. It was just bounced off. Pretty rough. Cold's actually back here. And Fur's also dropped a connector smoke that sticks out a little bit for Fallen to fall away. And basically it just creates it so there's only a line of sight towards maybe here if they want to try and trade Fallen as he's coming back out. But then to avoid this possibility, Cold's thrown a flash off here, which has team flashed Fallen, but it also prevents him getting killed. And you can see how well prepared SKR for the fact that Fallen is going to have to fall away back into middle. They don't want to lose a player, especially when he got this kill here. It would have been like, okay, I've got the kill, now throw your utility. Because if there was no one there, he maybe could have uh, crept up or he would have just sat there, so it would have been no point throwing this utility. But as soon as they see Fallen get the kill... I can guarantee you it's been practiced and they're going to throw these smokes and utility. Very well done. Fallen's able to fall about connector. Now, we'll see Fallen's just going to throw some flashes here. I think he throws a flash there to Phelps to move between triple box and default. Uh, just making sure no one's a main. And you see now he's just going to start peeking for information. Even though in a 4v3, they don't want to get caught off guard by maybe three people uh, dry walking into a site. And you see he's just going to peek everything. Here he spots the player and he just swings out wider to give himself a better angle with the AWP. It's basically, you don't want to be playing those headshot angles uh, with the AWP because its advantage is obviously a one-shot kill to the body. In this round here, Fallen doesn't have an AWP as an M4, and he gets quite aggressive up here. If you have confidence in your player in Phelps here to not let anyone burst out A main and shoot you in the back, this could be a very powerful angle to lock down Palace from. 
So you see here he's just jiggling for information, he doesn't just sit here forever because otherwise I could walk out and kill Phelps, he's, he's jiggling every now and then, you see he's had enough. Our space soldiers are coming back now if you look at the map from their mid control, and Fallen wants to know what's going on here, it's a 5v5, no one's died from either team, we need some information before we just get uh, executed on here and, and probably lose the round. So you see here, Phelps throws a good flash from to clear out A main, this is information for them, obviously space soldiers aren't there quite yet, but now he's going to wait for anyone to peek out palace and you'll see uh, he actually manages to get a kill here. So he's just jiggling back and forth now, and he gets this kill here, and smartly, that's a good angle obviously, but he goes up the ladder here, and one thing to note is if you go up this ladder, obviously the call was that Fallen was close, so the only place he can be is somewhere on Palace here. It's a little bit risky, because he could get shot from a second player coming at Palace, but I like this risk because you're going to get pre-fired uh, under, under Palace anyway, and at this level of play, you're probably not going to miss that. So this is a harder shot than to hit, he goes down anyway from a nice shot from Paz, but I still like the idea of going up the ladder there, making it so the T side maybe has to flick up a little bit uh, and give you a chance in that second kill. Fallen has been reduced down to a mag 7 in this round, so he plays close A ramp like a lot of players do. You notice here, he hears the smoke execution uh, happening, because obviously you can hear the, the pin and the throw of the smoke grenade. So that's when he decides to peek out and get aggressive, he gets one kill. Now I'm going to keep watching this just because I like the communication from SK. See, Cold and Taco don't move an inch. And because they know three smokes were thrown, they got this information over towards A. Cold straight away, he doesn't hesitate. He gets those two kills and he's straight in here. I'm um, getting full control of the apartments area and it makes it basically impossible for these guys to get control. Fur has another good angle of where they're most likely going to be coming from. And basically they're able to clean up shop. This is good utility from Fur, smoke and a molly. Taco comes in and gets a final kill. I just thought that was a really good round all round from SK. You see the communication is really on point. Where Cold straight away is pushing and throwing that smoke grenade. Moving along now, you see there's a nice little pick from Fallen for his standard stuff, good angle on towards the connector. You see here, as they smoke off the window area, Fallen's actually going to move across to the left hand side. These are all standard angles you're seeing right here, looking down towards the unders where people often jump up. You should hopefully all of you know that already. And you see he's going to move back here and he's actually going to walk through this smoke. Um, you see Furs up here checking for anyone. And notice the Fallen's timing and when he peeks here. So what goes on right now is Fur's going to get flashed and then he's going to get peeked. And then as he gets these shots, Fawn's going to peek out and straight away punish the player for yeah, just concentrating too much on Fur. And it's a really smart play and a good read from Fallen. Peeks out here, doesn't quite get the kill. But as this round progresses, there's a good flash over. He misses the shot. But you can just see how good uh, SKR are at throwing these flash. Like That flash came over straight away as Fallen was like, guys, I need a flash here to get out of this corner. One comes, the player is forced to fall away, even though Fallen misses the shot, it's still good play all round. Initially for this round here, they had a bit of a stack towards the A side, as you can see. Phelps and Cold Zero were here, and Fallen was here. And Fallen's rotating just in time here, as the Execute comes in by Space Soldiers onto B. You'll see he thinks he has timing to pick this angle. He does, and he gets the kill. And then he holds this angle here of anyone crossing sight, which again, you're going to need to on the T side, you have to cross that line of sight. Because if you want control, you can't just all be on the site towards short because it makes it too easy for the CT side to retake. And I think that's just good angles to hold. Obviously the counter for that is often on the T side of your AWPA posted off uh, towards the window of market. But in this situation, Fallen as the timing is there, just in the nick of time, I'd say maybe one second or two seconds later, he probably might not peak that because there'd be a much higher chance for a player uh, holding that angle. So this is something you can do when an A execute comes in. Most of you probably already know it, but it's always good just to have a reminder that this option does exist. One thing I forgot to say before though is that skins.cash actually does do pretty regular giveaways as you can see here. So make sure to check it out in the description below. And that's it guys, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.